Today we're going to go a little bit more technical and when we talk about coatings. Hi guys, my name's Sean and welcome to today's episode of Ask the Professor and today we're going to go a little bit more technical and when we talk about coatings and coatings as in polyxyloxanes and polyxylazanes. So when we talk about polyxylazanes and polyxyloxanes, we're talking about the backbone of the formulation, the foundation of the formulation. When you look at these particular types of coatings, they're industrial coatings where a substrate is subjected to heat, abrasion, UV degradation or radiation, and, and, and scratch resistance as well. So what we've got with both these particular coatings, polyxylazanes and polyxyloxanes, they're going to give you abrasion resistance, they're going to give you heat resistance and UV screening properties. So when we look at the difference between a polyxylazane and a polyxyloxane, the polyxyloxane is basically, it refers to polymers and this particular one is an oxygen and silicone uh, mix, whereas the polyxylazanes are silicone and nitrogen. So very, very similar characteristics. One's going to give you a little bit more durability. One's going to give you a little bit more hydrophobic qualities. So that's the chemistry behind it. So when we look at the ZQ9, that's basically going to give you durability and scratch resistance. But the beauty of the ZC booster, it's a mixture of both polyxylazane and polyxyloxane it's infused, so we've actually got the benefit of both worlds in one product. So it will give you heat, abrasion, resistance, UV screening properties, but it will also give you the hydrophobic qualities and depth of gloss. Polyxylazanes, polyxyloxanes, in effect, do the same thing. One's going to last longer than the other, and one's going to give you more hydrophobic qualities. That's your chemistry lesson for today, guys. So if you like it, hit the like button. If you've got any comments, put them in the comments section below. And failing that, if you're interested in any of the products, follow the Zirconite link below. 